Welcome back to Park and Post. Today, I'm going to share a crazy story with you all about an alleged $6 million immigration scam that was run out of London's Heathrow Airport for several years. Now, before I get into the details, I want to make it clear that the vast majority of airline staff and airport workers are extremely hardworking, honest people. But unfortunately, the alleged actions of a few corrupt individuals can give the whole industry a bad name. This is a truly remarkable tale. According to reports, a 24-year-old British Airways employee at Heathrow Airport Terminal 5 is accused of masterminding an ingenious scam that allowed him to pocket around $6 million over the past five years. Imagine a scheme so bold it amassed over $6 million right under the noses of one of the world's busiest airports. Now, how does one person manage to orchestrate such a scam? Here's how he allegedly pulled it off. It is understood that the man persuaded his clients, most of whom were from India, to fly to the UK on a temporary visitor visa before making arrangements for them to travel to Canada. By charging up to $50,000, he offered travelers, particularly asylum seekers worried about their applications being rejected, a way to bypass visa requirements using fake electronic travel authorizations, or ETAs. This operation wasn't a simple overnight fluke. It was a meticulously planned, cunning scheme that exploited the trust placed in airline personnel responsible for immigration checks. The unnamed suspect ingenious scam before his arrest last month when Canadian authorities raised the alarm allegedly arranged for people who ultimately wanted to claim asylum in Canada to come from India. Others were UK-based asylum claimants fearing their claim would be rejected and they would be deported. What he would do is have them fly to the UK first on temporary visitor visas. Then, when they were scheduled to fly out of Heathrow, he would be working the airport check-in counter. Even though they didn't have Canadian visas, he would falsely verify in the system that they had approved electronic travel authorizations to enter Canada. Since the system couldn't visually confirm the visa documentation, he was able to validate their boarding passes. He would then ensure he was working the boarding gate so he could get them onto the plane without issue. Upon landing in Canada, these passengers would immediately claim asylum since they lacked the proper visas to actually enter the country legally. Genius, right? The guy was exploiting a loophole since immigration checks are now done by airline staff rather than authorities. By inputting bogus data about these people having approved travel documents, he was able to get them into countries they never had permission to enter in the first place. Crazy stuff! Before we move on, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe and click the bell to be notified of our latest travel tips and share this information with your friends and family. And don't forget to join our free newsletter and become a friend of Park and Post. By signing up, you'll receive exclusive offers and updates. Click the link below to join our newsletter and start enjoying the benefits today. But let's get back to the topic. The $6 million Cillian Heathrow immigration scam. This scam allegedly went on for five years before Canadian officials finally caught on when an unusual number of passengers started claiming asylum after arriving from Heathrow. In January, the British Airways employee was arrested but released on bail. That's when he reportedly fled to India with his partner, who also worked for the airline. Authorities believe he owns multiple homes in India, potentially purchased with the millions he allegedly made from this scheme over the years. The UK is now working with Indian officials to try to track down and apprehend both individuals. The British government is still shocked at how he was able to pull this off for so long without detection. They are investigating where he advertised this illegal service and how he found clients willing to pay the steep fees. Okay now, today, I want to talk to you about an awesome cybersecurity tool everyone should use. In today's interconnected world, staying secure online while traversing the globe or connecting to public Wi-Fi is paramount, 
And there's one cybersecurity tool that stands out as an essential companion for all your travels, a VPN, specifically NordVPN. Whether I'm overseas or hopping onto a cafe's Wi-Fi, NordVPN is my trusted guardian, encrypting my device's data with an impenetrable digital shield. Imagine sitting in an international airport lounge, using public Wi-Fi to send an email or share a photo. Without a VPN, your personal information might as well be on the luggage carousel for anyone to grab. But with NordVPN, your data travels through a secure, encrypted tunnel, invisible and inaccessible to prying eyes, ensuring your privacy and security wherever you are. But the benefits of NordVPN don't stop at just security. They extend to freedom and privacy as well. Ever found yourself blocked from accessing your favorite show or a needed website while abroad? NordVPN solves this by masking your IP address, giving you the freedom to browse as if you were back home or anywhere else you choose from their global network of servers. It's your internet passport offering unrestricted access to the web. Using NordVPN is as effortless as slipping on your favorite pair of sunglasses. A single click not only secures your online activities, but also protects your digital identity, making it an indispensable tool in our digital age. Don't leave your online security to chance. Join me and secure your digital life with NordVPN. Check out the exclusive discount link below and travel with confidence knowing your data is safeguarded wherever your adventures take you. But our $6 million immigration scam story doesn't end here. The fallout of this scam opens up a plethora of questions about airport security, immigration control, and the measures in place to prevent such elaborate frauds. Let's dive deeper into the implications of this scandal and how it affects us all. This incident reveals significant vulnerabilities in our current system. It's not just about one person exploiting a loophole. It's about understanding how such loopholes can exist and what we can do to close them. It requires a multifaceted approach involving technology, training, and international cooperation. Indeed, the integrity of the immigration process is paramount to national security and public trust in travel. This story serves as a reminder of the constant cat-and-mouse game between those looking to exploit the system and the authorities tasked with safeguarding it. Airports are bustling hubs of activity, where every member of the staff plays a crucial role in the seamless movement of passengers. From the check-in agents to the ground crew, from security personnel to immigration officers, it's a symphony of coordination and vigilance. Most airline employees take pride in their work, knowing that they are part of a larger system that connects people and cultures. It's disheartening when incidents like these overshadow the hard work and integrity of countless others. And it's the spirit of these honest workers that inspires confidence in the system, ensuring that millions of travelers reach their destination safely every day. The actions of a few should not tarnish the reputation of many. As the investigation continues and authorities work to extradite the accused, the aviation community is coming together to learn from this incident. It's a global effort to enhance security measures, improve checks and balances, and restore the faith of the public in the system. Stories like these, while unsettling, also remind us of the resilience and dedication of those who work tirelessly behind the scenes. It's a call to action for all stakeholders in the travel industry to reassess and reinforce their protocols, ensuring that the skies remain safe for everyone. We'll continue to follow this story, bringing you updates and insights as they unfold. Our journey through the complex world of airport security and immigration fraud reminds us of the challenges we face in a connected world. But together, with vigilance and cooperation, we can overcome these challenges. Thank you for spending your time with us on Park and Post. We're committed to bringing you stories that matter, stories that inform, and stories that inspire. Let me know what you think of this wild tale down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Park and Post. Safe travels, everyone. We'll catch you in the next video.